Hello, welcome to Peace of Energy. When we started our YouTube channel for healing crystals and all the things that are associated with it, a lot of people asked us, how did you begin to learn about the healing crystals and the power of crystals and all the associated things? So I thought it might be interesting to some of you to see the books that I use as a reference and that I use to get off the ground and start learning about crystals and fields around them. And I found some very good books for helping you learn about the properties of the crystals, how they're formed, how they affect our energy, and how they can be used in our daily life and as a very important part of our daily life. So let me show you a few of my favorite authors. One is Karen Frazier. And she's a very experienced and talented person in the area of crystals. And the, one of the first books that I got was Crystals for Beginners. And this is a guide to get started with the healing power of crystals. That's what I was interested in first off. And this book is loaded with pictures and references. And I think it's one that really gets you excited about the healing power of crystals. This book actually shows you about 50 crystals and a lot of information about each one. So with this book, you can quickly get started collecting a few crystals, learn how to use them to control the energy flow through yourself and your surroundings and start working towards more positive results. So that, I like this one to get started. Also by Karen Frazier is one that I use a, more as a reference. It's a crystal alchemist. And here you learn more about how to care for crystals, how to keep them charged, how to keep them, how to use them in uh, very strong and powerful ways. It teaches you how to place them in strategic locations, how to wear them or carry them for different purposes, um, how to set intentions and meditate. These are really important things to learn about, to maximize the power of your crystals, and to recognize some that you may find along the way. So, good reference book, also by Karen. Okay, this next pile is my favorite author on the subject of crystal healing and this is Judy Hall and I brought several books to show you <laughs> let me start with the one that I use so much that I have sticky note tabs in here <laughs> and that should tell you how this what this book means to me this is called the crystal bible and you can find uh, different versions and updates to Judy Hall's books like this but this is the one that I got to get started, and it's a small book. It's easy to carry around with you, and it's organized in such a nice way. It has beautiful pictures that help you recognize, like, not just the rough crystal, but the polished crystal, and what else you might see when it's tumbled. Um, you're also going to see, how, this is just wonderful, the way she has separated the attributes, the healing properties, the position that you could use it for and other important information but everyone is outlined with the color and the, if it's rare or not where it comes from these crystal bibles are priceless so i thank judy hall for developing so many reference books on if you decide to go look for some by judy hall you'll see lots of choices but this is a nice reference book as you can see now she has several other books. One's called Crystal Prescriptions. And this is more about, uh, not so much of a picture book, but this is more about things that you can do for different healing and different, and different situations where you wanna increase the positive energy. So that's also a nice book. It wasn't my first, but it's something that really taught me a lot. Also, she has a complete crystal workshop. And this is a book that has pages you can fill in the blanks. 
questions and answers. It's kind of a very personal workbook. And it's really good, I've learned, to document some of these things that you learn along the way about the healing crystals. So consider that kind of book, too. If you don't use this kind of book, then it's nice to keep a journal where you can record the kinds of things that you learned about the crystals or that you've experienced by using them. Because as time goes by, things become fuzzy sometimes. <laughs> and it's nice to remember what you did. I think it's important. This one here is called Crystal Healing. And this is also Judy Hall. And this one, you can tell I've highlighted so much in these books. I really use them hard. <laughs> but it shows you how to place them on your body, how, how they can how to cleanse them and energize them, and how to relieve stress with them, and, and how to balance your emotions and clear negative energies out of your environment and bring the power of positive energy in. This is one of the newer books that I've added to my collection, also by Judy, but this one's called The Crystal Companion, and it's a little bit upscale on some of her original books, but how to place your crystals, how to identify them when you find them. Sometimes you'll come about some crystals that you don't know where they came from. You might walk into a metaphysical store and pick up one that just feels good in your hand, and then you can go back and reference this book and learn a lot more about it. So this one's about a guide to working with crystals for the body, mind, and spirit. And there's a lot to this one. You may be very excited to read through these books to begin with, or you may uh, decide that you want to highlight as you go, but then a couple weeks later you're going back <laughs> and trying to find what you read about a particular crystal that was so important because you just happen to get one in your collection now. So I hope all this helps. These are great references. And I hope you get a chance to try some of them. I'll put links in our description box so you can find the ones that I'm talking about today. I hope the ones that I highlighted today help some people to get started, to teach people in a nice way, or just to use as a reference. Thank you for watching our video.